demand. Click of a mouse. All morning, we've been talking about brats. That's Remember that? A lot of brats. Yes, yes. <laughs> but the summer grilling season goes beyond the Wisconsin favorite, and Danelle Gay with Tupperware has some simple suggestions to spice up that outdoor event. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Always Thanks dress the part, in. too. We love well, that. Well, we try. <laughs> yeah. Well, that helps. So we're talking like today. Um, <laughs> marinades first, right? Marinades first. I mean, you can go and do a Google search and get millions of recipes for marinades. Our favorite three. If you're doing something like beef, like a skirt steak, or even just brats, I should say just brats, even brats, <laughs> okay. and a beer. It mm. sounds really strange, but marinate it overnight. It does not taste like a Budweiser steak, but it kind of caramelizes as it cooks. Gives it a really nice, subtle flavor, and it's that easy. Does it matter what kind of beer? Like a higher-end beer is going to make it taste better? Sale. Sale. Whatever's on sale. Okay. That's my favorite brand. Okay. <laughs> um, if you're doing things like chicken, either Italian dressing, mm -hmm. or go ahead and make up a quick salsa. That gives you kind of like a little Tex-Mex flavor to your yeah. chicken when you're grilling it. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing chicken, like whole pieces of chicken, we like to start them at like either the oven or the microwave oven and then move them to the grill. Mm -hmm. So if you've ever gotten a chicken that was kind of crunchy on the outside and kind of raw in the middle, mm -hmm. that's never going to happen to you again. The grilling time is really cut down in half. And yeah. when you're talking marinades, is it um, a lengthy process that you want to leave your meat to marinate or could it be as quick as 30 minutes? I like to ask people, if you're going to take a bath, do you just hop in and hop out or are you very clean? That's a short marinade, like 30 minutes. You're just kind of getting the flavor on there. You really want to do six hours or even overnight is best to kind of plan ahead a little bit. That way you really get the flavor into whatever you're trying to, to cook. Now I know for a lot of people, uh, if they're going the burger route, forming those patties can be a difficult time because you don't always get them the same size. Some get really thick, others are thin, and then you don't know how long to cook them. Oh, exactly, and they all end up looking like a football by the time they're done yeah, cooking right. so that they don't sit on the bun. Use your Tupperware measuring cups. A half cup is going to give you a quarter pound burger every time. A two thirds cup will give you a third pound burger. So then when you press oh. them, even though they're nice and flat, it's still going to be a little football when you cook it unless you put your thumb right in the center. So when it cooks in with the juices, it'll be a nice flat burger by the time it's done. Okay. And you have a tip too for cleaning the grill or keeping it so it, it stays so things clean. Things don't stick. Yeah. When you get the coals ready, before you put anything on the grill, take a little paper towel and either some veggie oil or some Pam and go over the grill grid really quick. That way what you're cooking is not going to stick. Now, use your tongs to do it so that you're not running your hands right across mm -hmm. the grill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little safer that way. So then you won't be at the end having to use the scraper to get all that charred stuff you off. You won't leave a third of the chicken or a third of your <laughs> right. on the grill, you know, the little burnt <laughs> offerings for somebody else. All right, let's talk about the side dishes, the stuff that goes with all that great grill product. Sometimes that can be the most important thing. There you go. Now, if you don't do it that often, it's my favorite way to do it is go to the deli. Mm -hmm. Because by the time you get the bag of potatoes, the onions, everything you're going to need, you're already over $10 just for the ingredients. Mm -hmm. You can get potato salad at the deli for $1.99 a pound. Is that what that we got here then? That's $1.99 a pound potato salad. You can take your bowls with you, if you have favorite, you know, fun family bowls. Put them on the scale at the deli. They set the scale to zero. They put whatever salad that you want inside there. Really? Slap a sticker on there. You go to checkout. They run it across the scanner. You come home, peel the label off. Stick all your little bowls and dishes of different salads out. They think you made the broccoli, peanut, raisin yeah. salad, the ambrosia fluff, the potato salad. They have no idea. Especially if you're running late. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> great for concerts on the square. Really quick and easy. What a, you have some great tips here, for the sure. The most important thing is don't forget your sunscreen. Because if you're going to be outside with the family, especially mm -hmm. the little people, make sure everybody's got their sunscreen on. Wow, we just went from one end to the other, and we covered it all. And we want to make sure we keep um, the ants away. The, the, the tablecloth looks good, but let's yeah. try not to have the ants. That's cute. Yeah, all right, you're cool. always a plethora of knowledge. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks for having yeah, me. Happy summer you. to you. You too. And happy right. Memorial Day. Thanks. We will be back to wrap things up with a look at what's going on in your area. New hours and.